At Dearborn Public Schools, we created this great new database preset for Moodle, which allows you to create flashcards for your students. And this is what it looks like. This is the database activity. And you can see right here, you can flip the cards. You can go to the next card. And you can do random cards where it will go through and pick random cards out of the deck, so to speak. So as you can see, I can go through these. They have text, you can have images, you can even include videos, and you can flip them with answers. So how do you get this on your Moodle site? Well, the very first thing you need to do is head over to Moodle.net click on other content such as quizzes, database, and glossary entries. And you can find flashcards as well as a comic book styled story page that we designed and, and that's a whole nother video. But let's check out the flashcards database preset. You can see I have a video here. Download the latest version right here and we'll just save that to the desktop and head over to your Moodle site. Now this is just a, a general course that I have here where we do a whole bunch of testing. We're going to add in a database and we're just going to give it a name, flashcards, and we're going to click save and display. Now it says uh, there are no fields defined so click choose a predefined set and what we're going to do is we are going to import from that database preset that we downloaded. So I'm just going to drag this over here, click import, click continue, and now we are ready to make flashcards. Two times two, come down here, type in four. Now. flip the card, there's four. You'll notice that it doesn't have random because you have to add more than one. You can obviously, you can manipulate the text, you can upload images. What do you see? And maybe I'm going to drop in an image right here, lockers. Lockers and hallway. So right here it says, what do you see? You flip the card, lockers and hallways. You get the idea. You could obviously manipulate the images to uh, make them uh, different sizes, things like that. Um, but this is just to get you kind of started and you can see the random. There's only two cards in this example, but it'll switch between the two and you'll do previous and next um, as well. So that is the database preset, but let me take this one step further. If you are the site admin, the thing that you will want to do is once you've created this, you will want to save this preset. You'll notice that we have a couple of database presets right here where um, we, once we create these, we share them site-wide so that teachers don't have to drag and drop this uh, zip file in every time. Other teachers in our district, when they go and create a database, they can come in here, pick one of these, and it will automatically set it up for them. Just like you saw in this video, except now it's shared site-wide for all the teachers, and the site admin has to set that up. Um, doing it just the way I showed you here, um, and you just save it as a preset, and now it's available to everyone in your system and your LMS. So I hope that kind of explains things for you and uh, hope you enjoy our database preset developed by Dearborn Public Schools.